Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FTB Skies, where in the last episode we explored that floating village and we got ourselves an emerald. Uh, oh, yes, I, I keep forgetting. We got ourselves an emerald jetpack, which is currently charging in our power setup right here. But today we are going to be reusing that jetpack because we, thanks to that village, have plenty of obsidian so that we can go to the nether. However, before we can actually do that, our jetpack is being recharged quite slowly. So, while it is very nice to having our solar gener solar panels and windmills, which are looking really cool, I think we need to up our power game just a little bit. And for that, or with that, I have planned two things. Two specific dynamos from thermal expansion that I think is going to be pretty good. So the magmatic dynamo can generate power using lava. If we just press U right here and then go over to the magmatic dynamo, you can see that from one lava bucket, we could generate 100,000 RF. Now, we also have the lapidary, lapidary, lapidary dynamo, which uses crystals and gems to generate power. So for example, lapis lazuli, one lapis generates 40,000 RF. And if we go over, you can see that we can actually use another quartz to generate 40,000 RF, of which we have a plenty to spare. So I'm thinking we actually go ahead and make some of these dynamos. Now I just need to make sure, or take a look at this because if using the magmatic dynamo, we would be needing lava and we would obviously be needing to automate that process. Uh, we got a lava shrine right here, which can turn basalt into lava, which is very interesting. We also got laser drills fluids. We got the mechanical squeezer. And it looks like from this that if we go ahead and give it uh if we go ahead and give it blaze powder, which we do have in our storage over there, and it is actually being generated. If we go ahead and get, uh, where, where's it again? Nope, recipe, there we go. <laughs> mechanical squeezer. If we go ahead and put blaze powder into the mechanical squeezer, it'll take 1,600 RF to uh, compress or uh, uh, press a uh, squeeze this blaze powder into a uh, lava so that would be 1632 so 6400 rf to generate one bucket of lava which would then in turn generate 100,000 rf so we would get even though we're using power to get the power we <laughs> if you know what i mean we would actually be getting 90,000 rf ish from a magma magmatic Dynamo using this, the mechanical squeezer. So I think that that is exactly what we need to do. Um, question is, if I, I really want to go into digital storage, we're not going to do that today, but I think that is the plan next time because I'm not sure how I can actually like tell my system, hey, I need those blaze powder. But for now, we can always just hover it in. So I want to make both of these dynamos, maybe like four of each or two of each or something like that, just to speed up the process. Um, but to make this, we will be needing a mechani another mechanical squeezer. Uh, so that is right there. But first of all, I want to make some dynamos. And for this, we have everything that we need. So actually, let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, there's two recipes, one without dynamo. Okay, okay, that's good to remember. Anyway, got to make a few of those. Then I'm going to be needing the rest of flux. Uh, do we have, yes, I did put more gold and iron to smelt. Very, very good stuff. Go in there. So I'm just gonna get a couple of these, maybe like eight or something like that. Sounds good to me. And I'm gonna make, hmm, I think three is going to do the trick for now. Then we need the magnetic dynamo. However, for that we need Envar blend. And for that we need iron dust and nickel dust. And to get that, we need to get a crusher. We could also get a pulverizer, actually. Um, that might actually be easier. 4,000 RF, uh, because I'm pretty sure we have nickel. If I'm not, yep, we have plenty of nickel. So a pulverizer, I might actually already have a pulverizer, you know. Yes, I already made a pulverizer at some point. So that is actually going to make that very, very easy. I'm going to put it next to the coal generator right here. Actually, I don't need to do that. I completely forgot we have this setup over here. So 
So if I just place this right there, that is going to get power. And if I just go ahead and give it a little bit of nickel, if I get, uh, so for the invite blend, that's one nickel and then iron. So if I get eight of these and then 16 raw iron, just like that, into the pulverizer, then I should be getting pulverized nickel, raw nickel, I should pulverize nickel dust, that's the one. <laughs> so we don't need to actually go ahead and make the crusher. So while that is happening, we could go ahead and upgrade our backpack because currently this is our backpack. It is not at the best capacity. So I wouldn't mind upgrading this to the highest tier, which I believe is the diamond backpack. We could go ahead and check in portables uh, in here or not. Okay, that's fine. Wait a minute. It was in here. It was in here. Backpack tiers. There we go. Netherite backpack. Yeah, we don't have netherite yet. So diamond is going to be the one that we're going to go for. And that is... Am I missing something? Oh, it has to be a gold one, so we need to upgrade it slowly. Okay, so first we make an iron one, then we go ahead and make a gold one from that iron one, and then we go ahead and get the diamond one. There we go. And so now the next one is just going to be the net right one. Cool. Let's equip this, and let's see. Oh yeah, it even... It, it even has a slider. I mean, look at that. All right, add that stuff back in because we will be needing that later today. Cook bacon it's because I'm very soon going to run out of berries. Oh, I got some uh, I got some bonus dust. Okay, that is very, very cool. Well, while that is cooking yet again, do I have a make a legit no uh, universal? Yeah, I need a little bit more basic universal cables, I think. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it. And I'm also going to be needing a mechanical squeezer yet again. Uh, but I do want to take a look at a couple of things. Because if I go into thermal, that's not how you do that. Thermal, if we do that and go to the these right here. As I'm holding the mouse over these, it says type. So type filter fluid. And for some of them, it says type 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 dynamo so when they say dynamo that is meant for these three right here these augments are meant for the dynamo so some sort of upgrade so for this one auxiliary reaction chamber increases generation rate but reduces efficiency so fuel energy is decreased by a little bit maximum output though is increased so they can generate plus 100 percent basically double However, their fuel, uh, like the amount of fuel they use is reduced, so they're not as efficient. This, however, it does increase the fuel efficiency and only that. So maybe you can combine these two together. Um, actually, I'm going to bookmark these and then ex uh, prevent RF from being lost after coil saturation. Ooh, that does sound good. I think that is the only one or the only ones made for dynamo because the rest of these looks to be just fluid, fluid machine, area of effect, potion, machine, filter, filter, machine, potion, rest of us. Yeah, that looks to be it. Yep, that's pretty much it. Let's see, what are the recipes for this? Oh, aluminum and lead, signalium, and yeah, that's a bit of a process. Um, we could get it, actually. We could get it. Uh, how about aluminum? I don't think we have... Do we have glowstone? Uh, yes, we do actually have glowstone. But let's just try and set this up and see what happens. I'm pretty sure the iron is going to be done by now. Oh, and look at that. We actually do get a little bit of nickel. This should be enough for us to go ahead and make the Invar blend. We just need a little bit of this. But we go ahead and do that. Do this. And let's just get all that. 12, I think, should... Actually, no, I don't think it will be enough <laughs> because I do want to make a few machines here. So let's give it 12. Let's give it 12. But that is this. And then, yeah, I just need to make these, which we've already made. So I'm just going to be right back. All right. Invar has been smelted. So can we not? No. Okay. Apparently, for this one, we do need an iron ingot in there. So uh, I don't know how many of these I'm actually going to make. Let's do three dynamos, I suppose. Magmatic dynamos. So that's one, 
Let's go ahead and do that. Two and two, two and three. We can always make more if we so desire. I don't even know if we can actually like generate. Well, I suppose. I don't know if this can actually generate it fast enough, but let us find out. So I am going to, I need to think about how I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to be needing some fluid cable, uh, cables or pipes. So that would be mechanical pipes. I do need steel for that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff because we don't need that anymore. Don't need this either. Steel, dust. Oh yeah, that's the that's the enriched iron in the metallurgic infusion. Okay, so I just need to get some iron because I do need to transport the uh, what's it called the lava from one machine to another. So that can run on that. But let's set up this first, and I think I'm going to do it facing this way uh that does look a little bit dumb though so i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i'll extend this out like this one more and then i'm going to do this this and this and they do not connect apparently that's interesting that is a bit odd uh, items, fluids, gases, pillars, energy. Okay, that... I feel like that should connect. I feel like that should def most definitely connect. Why are they not connecting? There must be something that I am missing. Uh, Maybe on the side? Nope, not on the side either. Okie dokie then. I'm pretty sure I then do have some thermal flux duct. Maybe that is what they want. That's not connecting either. Okay, I'm sorry. What am I missing here? What about these? Do these connect then? No. Uh, hello? I am so dumb. I am so, so, so dumb. I forgot it's the dynamos. The way dynamos are connected. <laughs> I feel so stupid. It's like that, of course. Duh. Okay, well. Right. I'm gonna cut this off here, though. Uh, let's do this, and let's make a little bit of a turn, and then they're going to be sitting right there. I, I, I... <laughs> I've used these before, I promise. <laughs> right, okay, so. All of this is being run to the battery. That is good. That means, hopefully, the enriched iron is now done. Because if it is, we can go ahead and set it to run into steel. Next, though, we could go ahead and we also do need some logistical pipes, if we can make some, that also require steel. So I do need to wait for that. But we could go ahead and put the lapidary dynamos over here. So like that. Boom and boom. Hopefully this cable can pull from all of this. It should be able to. But uh, wooden hopper. No, these need the quartz. Okay, that's almost the second time, like the third or fourth actually, that I almost fall into that. Um, wooden hopper. I'm gonna need a few. Well, actually, I'm just going to need a barrel. Yeah, mushroom barrel is fine. Uh, but a wooden hopper. Yep, that's fine. Because now we're going to place the mechanical squeezer. I'm just gonna place that at the end of this because it will get power just like that. And then I can put... I really need those cables in order to proceed. Mechanical pipe and a logistical. So mechanical is going to run over here. However, I will disconnect it right there. Because I want them to get the lava from the back here. This is going to output. This is going to input. I don't think I actually need to set that, but just to make it look pretty. And then uh, we need the logistical transporter. We need that to go here. And then... That needs to be taken from this barrel specifically. That doesn't look that great, so let's put it right upside down, or the right way up, and then that is going to be extract. We're going to be putting quartz in here, and eventually that'll come directly from our storage, but for now that is fine. And then, 
we're going to have a wooden hopper going into this with a gilded barrel on top which is going to contain the blaze powder which again eventually will be coming from those drawers directly uh, in fact I think I can go ahead and I could set these to output just so it looks nice you know doesn't hurt making it look nice so let's put blaze in there that is going to generate lava these are going to get the lava and these are now producing power currently 40 rf a tick but that is not too bad again we can upgrade them later on but as soon as we also give quartz to that i think we will be good to go i'm just gonna get a little bit more blaze powder and then also quite a bit of quartz because we really don't need that much 1024 should be fine let's go ahead and place all the quartz in the world in here that is going to go in here and we are outputting or generating 40 hour of a tick at the moment again upgrades we makes it so that we can actually go ahead and do a lot more than just that this has an internal buffer as well as soon as this gets full so now we're generating 4 8 12 24 uh 240 rf attack from just this and of course it is being used to actually uh charge up the emerald jetpack i would actually love to get some upgrades for these um yeah that would be actually very nice but it's going to be a little bit of a process but i think it might be worth it we can give them multiple as well i'm pretty sure yeah if we just make this that would take silver glass and then signalium blend but i think it will be worth it yeah let's do it i've just realized that i think we are going to be using uh, doing these upgrades another day anyway because i've just realized that these plates actually need either pressing using a mechanical press or a multi-servo, which is a whole other project in of itself. So for right now, I think, I mean, we can go ahead and make the Signalium blend, that's fine. Um, but I just think doing the rest another time is probably going to be more beneficial. What I do want to do though, uh, we'll do that probably very soon. But having this is really going to be nice. I mean, this is full, this is generating stuff. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice upgrade for our power production. This is charging pretty fast. And if I, of course, remove this, we're going to be storing a pretty good amount of power, even though our machines are running as well. All three of them, in fact. But I want to now go to the nether. We need to see how it looks. And also, we need to find a nether fortress village thing. Because we got this. And we, I never took this on picking book. Um, also, don't know what this is. <laughs> That's a, that's interesting. Um, I, I don't know. Ah, it's this thing. Okay, so this can be used with villagers. So if I pick up a villager and puts it in, put it in here, we can actually use that. So that's cool. We're going to put that in there. And this, I mean, this is just cool. Unbreaking, don't know what that is, but I'm going to definitely save that. But the next step is to go to the nether. And upon entering the nether, we need to hold out the, ne the the eye, because then it will be able to guide us towards another sky island. I just want to see though, real quick, down at overpowered, uh, we can definitely get that, and we can get, ooh, don't have honey, so we need to get honey in order for us to get precision budding, because if we can get precision budding, not only would we get 128 netherite ingots apparently, but also 16 budding amethyst, which means we would get access to amethyst, which would allow us to get uh, access to this amethyst mesh, which would be really, really cool stuff. Uh, but that is uh, later. We need to then bookmark honey so that we can start looking into that liquid honey. I think this is it, right? Actually, I don't think so. Hold on. I just want to get this down. Just so that we have... Just, oh. Well, honey. Oh, this stuff. Productive bees. Right. Uh, yeah, that, that that's going to be interesting. I'll have to look into that. But for now, uh, let's go to the nether. I don't know where to place the portal. I also need to get my jetpack. Otherwise, things are going to go very bad for us. So let's equip that. Toggle the engine. Whee! 
Maybe let's make a portal right up there. That's gonna look like an interesting spot, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna have out my Eye of Legend. That should turn into whatever the red one is called. Let's light the portal. I have extra obsidian just in case. And well, let's go through and see what's on the other side. This is gonna be interesting and potentially also dangerous. I'm not sure what to expect with one of these um, nether villages, but here we are. Should probably enable my engine and also decrease the throttle to something more manageable. Hmm. Looks like we're in a basalt deltas. Don't see anything here, but I'm pretty sure if I right click, that should lead us. I can't right click it. Okay, I need to. Oh, wait, it's happening. It's happening. That is in that direction, so I can use it again, like multiple times apparently. Okay. I'm going to enable hover mode. Because I'm scared, I'm gonna add a waypoint. Home portal, because otherwise I will lose the spot. Right. Whew, okay, that's scary. It's very scary, this. I can't see a thing in front of me. Soul Sand Valley, okay. I need to keep an eye on this, my Y level, that it doesn't go down. I also need to keep an eye on my power battery level. This village could be far away for all I know. So let's maybe throw the eye up again. Okay, it's in this direction now. Uh, I'm just going to keep looking at the map to see where it looks like this. If I go down to below half battery pack, that, that can't be allowed. Because then that means I won't be able to get back home. We're in another way, so I'm just going to continue in this direction. Y level hasn't changed, so the hover mode on this is working pretty well. But I am getting uh, using quite a bit of power at this rate. Use it again. Yep. I'm going to go up a little bit, I think. Nothing on the map yet. And this should lead us to the nearest one as well. Bit scary. Oh. What on earth are you? Huh. Uh, well... I'm gonna try and increase the throttle. Oh yeah, I travel a lot faster with the throttle up. Assuming I'm also going to be using a lot more power. Oh, it's in this direction now. Oh, and I see it. It has been spotted, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so, ooh, there's Enderman here. I do want Enderpearls. Quest completed, Nether Sky Village indeed. Oh, you're a piglin. You're a piglin. You're not going to be happy with it. You have netherite stuff. My guy, calm down. Okay, uh, disable hover mode. There we go. And disable engine as well. So that was quite a journey, though. That was quite a journey, but not too bad. Progression. There we go. Uh, the next step is to reach the end. Visit the end. There are two methods to do this. Craft and portal frames, which is gated by the Guana Guardian. Fly there using Ad Astra. See its chapter here for more information. So... We need to just take a look at this place and loot it. Does it look like this guy has any, like, uh, armor? Not armor, weapons, though. I'm gonna use uh, this thing, though. Refined glowstone shield. I will find out. I'm just gonna. I'm, uh, how hard do you punch? Not too hard. I have a feeling I shouldn't have done that now that I remember that we have easy villages. Because apparently. Oh, there's something wrong here. But yeah, you can actually uh, use a yeah batterer. I need to I need to actually get these guys alive. Okay. <laughs> I really hope there's going to be more of them um, because that was a mistake. Ooh. Hold up. I hear stuff. Oh, hey, fella. Okay, so I'm gonna can't pick up aggressive or busy picklins. Okay, so hmm, interesting. Let me fly up. Okay, the Enderman I can I can take on, but Okay, I'm gonna have to kill you. And then I'm gonna have to kill you as well. Ooh, you need your red heart. That's cool. I don't want that though. Okay, so I need to wear gold apparently. Ooh, magma cream I Electrum Jetpack. Blessed apparently. Plus, wait a minute, plus five max health. 
So that means I get extra extra hearts. Okay then. I mean, I will not complain. Don't know if I'll use it. Netherite upgrade is actually really good. Don't know what that is. Axiom of Souls. Leech. Soulbound. That's cool. Leech is very cool. cool. Gems. You guys told me that apparently these are just like enchanting, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. So that is pretty cool. Definitely need to remember to use those. Nether Skewer. I'll eat one. Don't know what happens. Cool. Into fire. Because I got a blaze rod. Uh, you're gonna have to die. I'm sorry, but you you will have to die. Because <laughs> I really, really do want what you have to offer. Uh, dirt can go away. I'm gonna keep this stuff. Um, I'm sorry, can you get over here for a second? Right. I'll definitely take that. Not that, though. Righty then. Oop. Can be bothered from piglins. Okay, so I assume there's going to be more piglins. I think it's going to be worth it if I go ahead and fly back home. Which is actually going to happen pretty fast. So I, I just got to keep an eye on my Y levels here. But yeah, fly home, get some gold, and then come back here. Because otherwise, I'm not going to get any piglins that I can bother with. Which would be not good. So I got the gold. I also have a gold hammer bec because I'm thinking if I can set them to bother. That is going to make them occupied with something else and not killing me. So that might work. We're going to find out. Hover mode enabled. Engine enabled. I didn't tag this. We're going to go ahead and set a waypoint. Nether village. Except because that means I can go ahead. Okay, I see it over there. And just fly towards the beacon. Just like this. Here we are. Let us disable the engine. And let us go ahead and explore. I'm going to be killing the Enderman because I will do want their loot. That sentence didn't really make English sense. But you know what I mean. I will want the Ender Pearls. Maybe not all of them, but... Oh, sorry. Really sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Get this stuff. I'm pretty sure I need the Ender Pearls anyway. Oh, I mean, there's plenty of uh, stuff for this. Inscriber... Yep, sounds sounds useful. Let's go ahead and check these out. Oh, that's a lot here. Uh, you know what? Let, let's just wear the gold helmet. Let's just do that. Um, splash posture of strength. Uh, this is a lot of stuff. Skull catalyst. Plate of stuffed hoglin something. I'll add that to my thing. Oh, wow. The power of friendship. Frost aspect. Capturing sharpness. Oh yeah, I see that. Empty socket, so you can put those uh, crystals in, I think? Maybe. Fits in. Maybe. Maybe that's how they work. Shield bash. I got some achievements. Okay, I'm not gonna kill you. You're too cute. <gasps> Bunny Amethyst! That's actually amazing! And Heart of Diamond. We're getting... Ooh, Pigarang. Pigarang. Pigarang is pretty cool. Pigarang is actually very, very cool. Okay, that baby Enderman is actually kind of cute. Right, let's go down here. Okay, there's a lot of Enderman here. Well, I'm just going to get all the loot. Uh, definitely going to use my backpack here. But budding Amethyst, that is amazing. Don't push me off the edge now. Was that a shulker box? That was a shulker box. Oh, Inferno contain Containment Cube. Well, now that you've set that, I want to open it. Oh. Just, basically just a shock box. <laughs> Nothing else. Uh, pickaxe? Lengthy infused pickaxe of quarrying. Okay, you guys are being a bit loud now. Let's uh, lower that a bit. Another Electrum jetpack and another Axiom of Souls. Wow. Uh, is this better than my current pickaxe? Fortune 2? That plus experience gained. I mean, that's cool. Iron forged iron leggings. Where did that come from? Oh, I'm being shot at. Oh, that's a skeleton. Okay, uh, another budding, uh, uh, flawless budding. What? Search squats. Okay. Those are some fancy words. 
Right, let's put this in here. Right. Uh, bell. I really hope, okay, I was about to say, I really hope that we have more piglins. Aha, I got one. I also saw a spawner. Whoa, hello, why are you, why are you angry at me? Bruh. Not cool, not cool, don't know what's happening, don't know what's happening. Okay, you are angry, clearly. Don't know what's going, oh, actually, I'm getting low, I'm getting low. Enable hover mode, or engine. Okay, disable engine. Take a breather. Okay, you two are clearly angry. Let me just fix that real quick. I didn't look at you. But you, you and I are good, right? Right? I think we're good. Okay, go down here. Very slowly. I definitely have a gold jetpack on. A jetpack, a gold helmet. So I should be good to just go ahead and do that. So now I have two of them. I don't know how many I want. I guess I want as many as I can get my hands on. I'll go ahead and grab the brewing stand. You never know. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, there's another back room for this. What is that? Sparks, bones, invisible. Well, that's awesome. Experience bee spawn egg. Oh, wait. These are bee spawn eggs. I didn't realize that. Chance cube. No way. But... Okay, so we actually have quite a few. Well, I don't know if we have quite a few, but like we have some bees spawning. I really need to look into that bee mod um, because it looks like it is quite useful. Kind of like the chickens mod in like Stone Stone Block Three. I definitely need to take a closer look at that. Okay, so this is this way. Let's go up. See what's in here. Ooh, Dragonstone. Pixie dust. Huh. Another bee spawn egg. Another sword. Chapter 5. Enter. Looting insane mode. Okay. Right. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> My inventory is going to be pretty full soon. What do we have over here? I mean, this place looks pretty cool. Don't know if there's other types of buildings that we can actually find here. But I suppose... But we'll find out. Ooh, netherite ingot. And a flawless gem of uh, samurai. And a spirit bee. Oh, we got an ender chest. Like the coded ones. That's cool. Alright, nothing down here. I think we have soon looted the entire place. Uh, yep, that's a dead end. And another dead end. And that's where we started, I'm pretty sure. I think I've been here. Yes, I have been here. Maybe I've been everywhere now. I accidentally clicked the bed. I accidentally ki clicked the bed. Are you kidding me? I didn't even mean to click the bed. I wanted to eat and I... Uh, and I didn't think either that I would die instantaneously. Uh... At least I have this. I mean, at least I have this jetpack right here. So I can just charge that up and get over there. Oh, man. I didn't expect that to happen. Well, I'm very happy that we went home as well, because otherwise I wouldn't have had this jetpack to be able to fly back. <laughs> Hopefully it has enough energy. That's 2.5 million. If it's not, I'm just going to die again, though. And then I'd lose this key. I'm gonna try and go halfway. We'll just have to try and go halfway. Um. Yeah. Okay. Enable engine. Enable hover mode. Throttle set to one hundred percent. Yeah, I should make it. I'll make it. I think. Yeah, I'll make it for sure. Losing a bit of Y levels, so I do have to go up. I can't believe I right-clicked that bed. Man, I just wanted to eat my my stuff. Okay, disable engine. I cannot die right now. Um. Okay, I got everything, right? Right? Everything? Everything. Where's my... Gadget. I have my emerald jetpack on. And I also have this. 
And put that. Okay. Yep, that's my Emerald Jetpack user being used. Okay. Think we're good. I think we are good. Um, just not gonna do that again. <laughs> and with the backpack, yep, and the backpack is safe. Right, well, that was interesting. Um, very interesting, in fact. Looks like I missed a chest over there. I'm sorry. Huh? Just get this real quick. What's this? Ethereal immune to suffocation and a life of trash damage? Yes, please. But who's playing music? I... That was close to hitting the bed again. But who's making this music? Another budding amethyst. Really good. What's this? I almost clicked the bed again. I cannot do that mistake another time. Uh, hold on, this is loud. This is very loud. Is that a... I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm just not gonna ask questions. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and land here. I'm just gonna let that play. I'm gonna grab you. You're my fifth or fourth? Don't click the bed, don't click the bed. Check this out. Circularity. Ooh, another right helmet. Yes, please. And I think that that is that. I think that's all the loot. I think we're gonna get out of here um, <laughs> after deleting this death marker. Right, let's enable the engine. Let's throttle it up. And I think we're out of here. Back home to the portal. Pretty successful mission, I am not gonna lie. That was actually, that was very good. I don't know if there's like a bastion or something that I can find in this. Do let me know down below in the comments if there are other structures that I can find or if it's just going to be those villages. But I mean, overall, this was not a bad hole whatsoever. A lot of useful stuff. I mean, we got the netherite, but not only that, we also got another right helmet, which I will definitely take. But we also got budding amethyst. Now these, of course, I cannot pick up once I have actually placed them down. Well, this is Tetra stuff. We also got quite a few productive bees, bone it. Am I holding something that I shouldn't? Or what is... Okay. That was... A... I didn't like that. I, did, I didn't like that. But we do have uh, these, and I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and whoa, we got a lot of potions, knowledge, spell damage, strength two. I mean that might come in handy at some point as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna empty all of this stuff. Another right pickaxe as well. <laughs> I'm gonna empty all of this stuff, and then I will be right back once my backpack is emptied. And now that we have another right, I can actually go ahead and take my backpack out. I can go ahead and make a smithing table. And then, if I get a netherite ingot, then I can go ahead and place this here, put this together, and boom, a netherite backpack. And that is now much bigger, and we can start adding upgrades to this as well. Now, if I make this, except that I, oh, I need nether bricks. Um, okay, nether bricks is achieved by smelting this, and the way that you get Another rack is from bartering? Or what? I need to get another rack from bartering is something. I would assume. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me go through this. Okay, we're not quite done because we can use the material generator if we have nether bricks. I need to go back and get a block of nether bricks because then we can generate nether rack, which if we get the nether rack, we can go ahead and hammer that down, I'm pretty sure. Yes, hammering. We can go ahead and get crushed netherrack, which we can use in the sifting to get uh, this stuff right here if we use mana seal mesh. And if we go ahead and get amethyst mesh, we get a 10% chance of getting netherite scrap. Uh, so that is probably something that we should go ahead and do. 
and also so that we can actually get a uh, nether rack in general. I definitely have enough energy to do that, so I will be right back. All right, here we are. Already an enderman is angry at me. I don't really want the slab. Uh, just want the block, really. All these are slabs. Where is a full block? I just need a full block. That would be ideal. Don't need chiseled. Don't rack like the bed again. Uh, all these are chiseled. Ah, another bricks. Got it. I just need one. Don't want the stick. Sorry. Uh, yep, that's all I need actually. Enable the engine again. Fly back home. Okay, now that we have another rack, it should be just a matter of doing this. Adding this here. Yep, that's generating another rack. Then place the hammer into here if i am facing it the right way so blue needs to be over there so yep like that that is getting the netherrack and this is then collecting it and it is being pushed into there so all i need now is one mana ingot which we do have enough mana for that is perfect go ahead and remove that then we need a mesh Need to go ahead and make a mana seal meshed for optimal performance. And then we can go ahead and add that there. Now that is going to be generating a bunch of stuff which I don't actually have any space for in these uh, drawers. So I will actually go ahead and be needing a couple of drawers. Maybe six of these are going to do it. Maybe five. I think I'm just going to add them right here. Eh. Time those right because the jetpack is so fast. Go ahead and add those there. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, we'll be needing the linking tool. Linking tool, also configurator. These, I just want these to always be in my backpack. Uh, eh, get up, add this. And that just means. Oh, but that's full. Right, full stuff will be going to those. Do I have upgrades so I can stop that from happening? Yes, I do. Can I make one? I can. Maybe. Maybe I have enough? Maybe. It just didn't add the, the ingots. That's fine. Okay, I do have another copper upgrade now. So, I can give one to this. I can... Ugh. Give one to that. That should... Okay, this <laughs> is... A little bit fiddly because eh, okay give me a second all I need to go ahead and do now is put this away get the wrench for this stuff and then set this to output just like that and that should start adding the nether stuff to the drawer system yep Pretty cool stuff, not gonna lie, what do you say, B? By the way, give this guy a name down below in the comments. I need I need a proper name for him. But guys, I think, and it just started to rain, by the way. <laughs> but guys, I think that that is going to do it for this episode. Which is a pretty good progress. We upgraded our power generation unit using the Lapidary Dynamo, using Nether Quartz, which we still have plenty of in the barrel. And, well, lava over here for these magmatic dynamos. Output is only at 40%, apparently. But I suppose that's because we're not really using any... Like, using any of it. So, we need to probably get some more uh, batteries and stuff hooked up to this. I think in the next episode, uh, digital storage is going to help us a lot. Because uh, this is a bit uh, uh, delayed or something. Sometimes, also, I would love to export from over there to this place it's just gonna be a lot nicer so guys i really hope like i said that you have enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you're new enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode and i hope to see you in the next one until then have a wonderful day and one second goodbye <laughs>